Hi guys, I hope you're all having a great day. I have you in my living room with me and we are going to do a walkthrough of my wax collection and where I store it and all of that great stuff. Um, so this was a or is a challenge or a tag kind of going around in the wax community here and I was challenged to show my stash or to share my stash. So that is what we are doing today. This will be a fairly long video, so grab a snack, grab a drink, grab coffee, tea, whatever, and buckle in. Um, this is going to be two areas that I keep my wax. My first area is in my living room, and that is where I keep all of my current use wax. And then my office is where I have all of my off season. So right now we are in the summer or spring season. So I have all of my spring and summer stuff here in the living room and all of my fall and winter in my office. So you will see two separate rooms and I did film this on two separate days. So the light's gonna be a little bit different. Um, and then one more thing before I dive in, I have um, a tip. It is to increase the speed of this video. So if you don't wanna sit through me talking like for hours and you just wanna speed it up a little bit, then you can boost that duration of the, the speed so you can get through this video faster because it will be long. Um, okay, so jumping right in, I do have a, um, <laughs> I do have a helper too in the back who's going to be moving the camera for me today. Uh, so Tom's helping, say hi Tom. Hello. <laughs> so um, in my living room, I have this big chest here and this chest is our, what do you call it? Like our console table, what is it called? Coffee, Coffee table. table. Um, and I bought this chest just because I love that it pops up so you can kind of like eat on it and you can also store stuff underneath. And the other wonderful thing about this chest is that it has a drawer for wax. <laughs> so this is where I keep all of my mixers or um, like mini melters or scents that are single oils that I can blend together. So I call this my blender drawer. This is a drawer I come to if I want to really be creative and make my own custom blends. This is where I come. So as you can see, the majority of wax that I keep in this drawer are the Rose Girls Mini Melters, but I also do have a few other vendors over here on this side. And these are also just single oils. So what we're gonna do is I will start here at my coffee table in my, my drawer and we'll go through all of this wax and then I will show you the other spot where I keep the rest of my wax in my living room and then we'll end the video in my office. So diving right in, I'll start with my L3 Waxy Wonders um, bars here. So I have Margaritaville, Gold Sugar, Blue Hawaiian, Pink Lemonade, Champagne Toast Type, and Orange Fanta. I have a few little cups, and this one is Pine Cones from K, Morning Beignet from K, Malibu Rum Cupcakes, Blueberry. I have a Destination Wax in Oud Wood, or Oud Wood, and another Destination Wax in Palo Santo. I have one Scentsy clamshell in here, and this is Almond Croissant. A um, scoopable wax in Boom Boom Cream from L3 Waxy Wonders. I have a Wolf Wicks Crumble Cup, I think that's what these are called, in Pie Crust. This is a great scent. This one is Gypsy Monroe Sweet on Paris. I have another Gypsy Monroe in Fire Roasted Marshmallows, and another Gypsy Monroe in Maraschino Cherries. Um, and then before I move on to all of my Rose Girls, I will share some of the wax that is in this here. And let's see, these are all Rose Girls as well. So let me start here. So this is L3 Waxy Wonders Don't Cross Streams. And then all of the rest of these ones here are all um, that Smell Good Shop, like clamshell type of things. This is Blackberry, Pomegranate, Mango Sorbet, Tangerine Peach, 
Tropicana, this smells just like the orange juice. Sugared lemon, banana, pure seduction, which is a Victoria's Secret type, Fruit Loops, black raspberry vanilla, strawberry sugar, and Twinkies. And then now onto all of my Rose Girls, I have a few of these that were available in one of like her, I think it was her fruity sampler pack. I have raspberry sauce, blackberry, fresh pig strawberries, sweet lemon confection, and satsuma. And then, let me see what I'm gonna do with this. I have, um, I do have it fairly organized in here. This first row here is all of the clean and fresh type scents. And then a little bit further into the back, I have, um, or this way, not the back, I have all of my fruity scents. And then I have a mix of what I call toppings. So things that are like whipped cream, ice cream, um, frosting, stuff like that. And then all the way over to the end, I have all of my bakery. So breads, um, donuts, carbs, stuff like that. Okay. So for my fresh category, I have woolen blanket. I have all nighter. I have rain. Morning sex. And vanilla sandalwood. And then for my Rose Girls mini melter bags, um, you might be able to tell but all of these I double bag just because I do store them so closely together. So that is why they're all double bagged. Moving on to my fruity category, I have strawberry shortcake, strawberry jam, strawberry raspberry guava, black cherry, green apple, um, Macintosh madness, peaches and cream, pineapple, Pear, um, mango sorbet, and orange sherbet. So I have Sicilian lemon cookies, Gilligan's brew, serend serendipity, um, whipped cream, vanilla ice cream, Marshmallow Smoothie, Ooey Gooey Caramel, um, Caitlin Scotcheroos, Pina Colada, Cotton Candy Frosting, Cereal Killer, which is a funny name, um, Blue Raspberry Slushy, Snow Fairy, and Killer Kool-Aid. I also have a bag of Teddy Bee's Cheesecake Cookies. Okay, moving along, I have Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies. This is my bakery category. I have Cookie Land, Opposite of Keto, Carbs, Nilla Noel, Donut Holes, Vanilla Crunch Donuts, Dunk My Donut, Waffle Cone, Monster Cookie, Royal Sugar Cookie, Sugar Cookie Dough, Jumping on Clouds, and Birthday Cake. All right, guys, and then sticking with my coffee table here, I do also store all of my Birdies Making Sense wax above here just because this is an area that I can keep it stored that won't crush it or um, it's not going to yeah, be smudged or hopefully not smudged too badly or kind of packed within my cube organizers that you'll see in a second or down below. So because Birdies Making Sense wax is really soft and it's also very detailed and, and beautiful, um, I wanted to give it a very safe space to live. Um, well, you know, well, it is not mel being melted. So I'm not going to go through all of this 
wax here just because I literally only have one haul from Birdie's Making Sense and I just uploaded the video on it not too long ago. So I will show you, you know, really how adorable her wax is. If you can see that there's a little mushroom. Here's like a thing of eggs. If you guys have not checked out Birdie's Making Sense, I definitely suggest that. I think her wax is just so darling and so cute. So um, I will reference you to that video if you would like to see some of these up close and personal. Like if you guys wanna check out that hilarious dog poop shaped wax. Um, but yeah, these are beautiful scents, so they live here in this chest. I moved you guys over to the main section of my wax storage in my living room. This is where I keep the majority of my wax. These are not my blender type scents. These are like house blends and things that are already created by different vendors. So this is where I come when I just want to pull things that I don't want to have to mix myself if I'm just feeling like a certain blend that I love or something like that. This is, this is the go-to spot for that. So um, Tom and I have it kind of divided. So he has some sections and I have some sections. So Tom's is all these uh, books here and, or Tom's section are these books here. And then mine are these cubes, which very nicely hide the obsession that I have from, you know, when we have friends or people over, they don't have to know how crazy I actually am. Um, and then another thing about this little cube organizer is I just, I love it for multiple reasons, like the hiding factor, and I also love it because it gives me a nice place to display some of the stuff that's very special to me in my life. I have, and I'll show you in this order, I have a photo here of our pup, Dwight, who's no longer with us, but he, this photo here actually holds all of my cotton balls, so that's pretty cool. This photo here is an indigo bunting bird, which after Dwight passed, we saw a lot of indigo bunting. So that was a special bird to us. And um, Tom's mom actually drew that for us, which is beautiful. This over here is a Pug Scentsy Wax Warmer. Personally, I don't use this for melting wax. I tried it in the past and it just doesn't really perform very well unless you kind of take the head off of it and then it just is like, it looks like a beheaded pug. So it's like not that cute. So that one is mostly just for looks. Next to that, however, is a incredible wax warmer. And I got that during the Black Friday sale. It was like two, three bucks or something insane. And I picked up a couple of those and that is just like a hot plate warmer. And the dish actually comes off the top. I know a lot of people in the wax community have the same warmer. Um, but the dish comes off the top and you can place a three wick back and body wicks candle right on top of that. So it is phenomenal. And I keep it on a candle holder from Bath and Body Works just because it kind of sweats a little bit at the bottom of it and I don't want to damage this bookshelf. Um, so I kind of keep it lifted and elevated. Next to that, I have my um, my like sample bag or basket. Honestly, I try to use my samples fairly quickly when I get them just because I don't love storing samples. Um, and it's also good to just try them quickly so you know, especially if it's something that's like in the next pre-order or launch or whatever, then but that is where they, they go. And then next to that is like a cute caricature of a pug. Um, another thing is we have our TV shelf over to this side and I do keep a little bit of wax storage things up there, but not, I mean, not really. I keep this same basket up there, but in that basket I have my um, lighter. It's an electric lighter. I keep my choppers and I keep some tea lights and some matches and just things that like wick trimmers and all of the essentials for candles and wax I keep up there. Um, and that's nice too because you can't really see what's in the basket from the angle because it's kind of elevated. Um, and then in this basket, I keep my current melting basket things. And this is also divided between um, my other basket over there which contains the rest of my melting basket products. And you guys know the container that my belt melting basket is in if you've watched my melting basket videos before. It's just like that kind of um, cardboard box that I got from Home Goods or one of the stores like that. So that is where I keep my melting basket stuff. So that is where everything is living. I'm not gonna show you guys the wax that is currently in my melting basket just because I have a video on that. So everything else here is free game and I'll show you all of that. Um, moving in to the actual cubes themselves, I have down here, I have a collection of a majority of um, 
Better Homes and Gardens and Walmart wax. But I also have some Scentsy and I have some like shucked clamshell type of things. Things that are definitely more of like the three cube type sizes. Um, so that is all stored in here. And I'm actually going to pull these out and show you guys how I store it and everything that's in it. So, but that is what is held in there. Then in here I have my shapes, my like kind of things that I don't want to get crushed. So this is a little bit more of a spaced out box. And then I also have, um, I think this is the one that has my loaves underneath it. So shapes on top of loaves. And then in this organizer over here, I have, oh no, this is my shapes and loaves. Yes, shapes and loaves in here. I don't know what's in here. We'll see it when I pull it. Probably some more shapes, honestly. Oh no, um, what is in here? My souffle cups, that's what's in there. And then in my, let's see if this can fit. And then in my other bin, all the way over here, this is more Rose Girls. <laughs> if you guys can't tell, I do have a slight obsession with Rose Girls wax. So this is literally just Rose Girls in here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull all of these bins out and I'm gonna show you guys what is going on in the bins themselves. I pulled out my first cube organizer and I actually pulled out the first layer of my clamshells. And these four trays here are a mix of vendor wax. I have some Scentsy and I also have some Goose Creek and Yankee Candle. And then all the way underneath, those are all of my Walmart wax, which I will show you what, what it looks like at the bottom of that cube or organizer right after this. Starting off, I have Goose Creek Cherry Cobbler, Goose Creek Moonlight Coconut, Goose Creek Day in the Sun, another Goose Creek in Salted Caramel Popcorn. This one is in Dutch Droop Waffle. I have three Yankee Candle Center pieces. This one is in Clean Cotton. This is Life's A Breeze and finally Seaside Woods. I have one of these clamshells from Zape in Juicy. Moving on to my Scentsy, I have two in Caramel Apple Craze. I have one in Skinny Dipping. This one is in Berry Bright. I have Tangerine Creamsicle and Mystery Man. This next row is All That Smell Good Shop. This is Amethyst, Berry White, Wake Up and Be Awesome, Day Walker, Pink Chiffon, The Shallows, and Berry Culotta. Moving on to all of my L3 Waxy Wonders. My name is Indigo Monteo, Swimming Pool Chlorine, Lock, Shock, and Barrel, Daredevil, Cozumel, and I have two Cotton Candy Don't Cross Streams. This is Zape Sweet Surrender, Vintage Chic Scents Merry Unbirthday, and then all of the rest of these are from Salt Mountain Melts. I have Under the Boardwalk, Cherry Semifreddo, Black Cow, Patriotic Punch, Sundress, Beach Nights, Milk and Cookies, Banana Culotta, Summertime Sadness, and I Just Can't Copacabana. This is what it looks like at the bottom of that bin. Pretty much what I do is I just stack those four rows that I showed you directly on top of this. So starting with Bathing Gardens, I have Circus Bread, The Fortune Teller, Candy Carousel, Poppets Cast Coaster Ride, Going Bananas, Twirling Trapeze, Victorian Carousel. I have two of candied caramel pears and I also have two of clowning around and I have one giant clamshell from the bathing gardens and twirling trapeze. Okay moving on to the majority of my Walmart, Better Homes and Gardens, and Sensational Wax. I do have a few vendor clamshells thrown in here and there but for the most part the rest of these are Walmart wax. This is Better Homes and Gardens, Apricot, Blossom, and Bergamot, Vanilla, and pineapple or pineapple and vanilla, white peach and daisy, white grapefruit and pear. I have watermelon kiwi lemonade, jiggle wiggle strawberry, by the pool, banana fruit, passion fruit banana, sea salted sage, palm beach paradise, cake batter ice cream, ice cream shop, pina colada, and blue harbor cove. I have sugar high, festival vibes, unicorn cake, rock candy, Jiggle Wiggle Strawberry, Vanilla Bean Butterscotch, Nutty Butter Cookie Bars, Rainy Spring Day, Strawberry Pretzel Bars, Banana Berry Smoothie, Cotton Candy Cloud, Mango Sorbet Lemoncello, Lemon Blueberry Donut, Marshmallow Krispies, Sun Drenched Linen, Summer Strawberry Mimosa, Pacific Coast Highway, Adventure Seeker, Sunlit Meadow Trail, and Golden Sunlit Woods. I have Banana Split Milkshake from Salt Mountain Melt, Zapes Cookie Cakery, Salt Mountain Melt's Dirty Dirt Ball, Zapes Satin Sheets, another Zape Get Laid, 
Zapes Farmer Market. I have Cheerful Candle Mango Tango and another from them in Sage and Citrus. I have a Super Tarts Clamshell in the Hills and Sensational's Crystal Healing. Okay guys, so I pulled the next bin out here and how I have this organized is I have all of my delicate bags here. So these are a lot of the Salt Mountain Melts candy bags and a few of like the cute shapes from Zape. Directly underneath that, this is where I store all of my souffle cups. So these are pretty organized, I think. Um, these are kind of organized by vendors. So I have a majority of these are Salt Mountain Melts once again, and then the other ones are all from Teddy Bees, and I do have two from Southbound in this kind of little organizer tray. And then one more thing is these I also picked up at the Dollar Tree. If you guys haven't noticed the trend, most of my organizing things I get from the Dollar Tree. They're cheap and they work. And then I have two of these kind of tucked down into the bottom of this here. And these are both from Wolf Wicks. I'll show you those in a second. And then way down at the bottom, I do have this um, kind of little tray. And all of these are my scent shots. So a majority of these are my Midnight Daydream Wax Company scent shots. I do have a few K scent shots over here. And then I do have some um, other vendors, these, this one is a new to me vendor in um, the Melted Moose. And I do have some Strange Charm up there as well. So we're gonna go through this tray right here. And to start it off, we'll go through all of our K's. So this first one is in Greenhouse, Bananas Flambe, Beechwood Vetiver, Butt Naked, Midnight Waters, Monkey Bread, Turquoise, Golden Sand, and Lexilicious. I have Clean and Sassy, Downy Rose and Violet. Finally from K's, I have Sun Dredged Apricot Rose. These next ones here are all from the Melted Mousse. I have Root Beer Smoke, Take Five, Strawberry Mango Culotta, Raspberry Zingers, Steel Sugar Type, and Banana Scotcheroos. Two here from the Strange Charm are in Lemony, and When Life Gives You Lemons. And then all of these are Midnight Daydream Wax Company uh, two ounce scent shots. I have Dryer Fresh, Intrigue, Cereal Land, Strawberry Sunrise, Corner Bakery Cafe, Banana Wafers, Woodstock, Milky Way Latte, Bear Claw Donut Shop, Gooey Funfetti Cookies, Very Pleasing, Big Top Treat, Tea and Cake, Smoked Vetiver and Pine, Cola Poke Cake, Caramel Churro Cake Pops, Butterscotch Banana Boat, Another Intrigue, Butterscotch Marshmallow Blondies, Little Debbie's Kitchen, Beach Bum, Summer Scoop Crunch, Marshmallow Stuffed Circus Cookies, Mint Chip Witch, Java Jive, Birchwood Lodge, Coconut Velvet Pie, Laundry in the Forest, Coconut Cotton Candy Cream Pie, Mighty Cookie Kitchen, Intrigue, Another Intrigue, and yeah, Another Intrigue, and Poolside. I have two from Wolfwicks. This one is in Berry Bonkers and Pup Pride. Then in this tray here, I have a lot of Salt Mountain Melt candy bags as well as Zape Shapes. So this is Zapes Under Ruse, Oh Sugar Sugar, Sweetheart. I have Alyssum, Pillow Talk, Cigar Bar, Get Laid, Trophy Wife, Fruit Crazy, Mountain Garden, Mr. Sandman, Great Outdoors, Date with an English Gentleman, Peony, and Orange Taffy. And the rest of these are all Salt, salt Mountain Melts. I have Unicorn Fluff, White Cow, Pink Frosted Cake, Strawberry Marshmallow Cake, The Sweet Spot, Jumbo Swirl, Midway Magic, Elephant Ears, and Mmm Fried Dough. I pulled out all of my souffles for you guys to see. These first two are both from Southbound. This one is Blueberry Cheesecake Ice Cream, and this one is Donut Shop. I have six souffles from Teddy Bees. The first one I have is Teddy Bear Biscuit, The Crack of Dawn, Warm and Cozy, Coachella, Down in Kokomo, and it's five o'clock somewhere, and Sugarberry Birthday Cake. I have 15 souffles from Salt Mountain Melts. The first one I have is Circus Animal Stuffed Sugar Cookies. That is a favorite, along with another favorite, Heat Wave. I have Cherry Lime Slushy, Bummin' in Hawaii, Sunshine Cake, Sweet 16, Sunday Shop, Backyard Bash, Ophelia, Princess Cut, Sunny Days, Patisserie, Beach Today, Laundry Tomorrow, Marshmallow Cake, and Gummy Bear Slushy. All right, and on to my third tote here. I have it layered once again, with this first layer being all of my um, kind of random 
bits. Underneath that, I have another box where I store some other shapes and things that I don't really want damaged. And underneath that, I have craziness. So I have some scoopables and I have some um, loaves and I have some bakery bags. So what I'll do is I'll just pull them out right now and show you what I have. So first things first, I do have a chopped up loaf from the pharmacist daughter and this is in bliss. I have a Yankee Candle sparkling pink and another Yankee Candle in dreamy summer nights. This is a fantastic scent. I have two of Harrison from Midnight Daydream Wax Company's sampler scents. The first one is an office sampler and the second one is a Disneyland sampler. I have a bakery bag in Doughboy from Wolfwicks. And on to my um, scoopables before I show you the loaves that are layered at the bottom of this tote here. This first one is Love Spell Strawberry Vanilla Bean Noel. This is Blackberry Sweet on Paris. I have Light Blue Type. This one is Cupboard Under the Stairs. Cotton Candy Craze Strawberry Pound Cake and Frosty Fizzy Bubbly. Lego Tastic and I have Shamrock Shake. This one here is Sandra D from Rose Girls. And this one isn't technically a scoopable, but it does come in a kind of similar shape tin. This is Rainbow Melts Cashmere Plum. This is what the bottom of the bin looks like, and these are all of my loaves. So this first one here is L3 Waxy Wonders and Cotton Candy Craze Pink Frosted Animal Cookies. Two from Pharmacist Daughter that are not chopped. This is Decadence and this one is Lemon Drop. I have two from um, Gypsy Monroe. This is Cotton Candy Sweet and Low and I also have Barbie Girl. The last four are all from Salt Mountain Melts. I have Lemon Dream Cake, Circus Animal Stuffed Sugar Cookies, and I have two loaves in one of my favorite scents, Heat Wave. And then in this tray here, I have the pharmacist daughter, It Takes Two to Mango, Serene, Heavenly Beans and Cream, is Breakfast of Champions, Full of Energy, Bite of Sweet. Then I have a couple um, Bath and Body Works candles that I melted down into my own tarts. I have mango dragon fruit as well as Waikiki beach coconut. And then I have some more L3 in here. This is strawberry lemon fizzy soda, blackberry sweet on Paris, pear soda pop. I have lighthouse, s'mores, as well as 8675309, which is Alabama Slammer. And then moving on to my next tote, most of these are rainbow melts, coffee sampler. And then I do have a few other like bathing garden shapes and some other delicate shapes so they aren't crushed. That is why they're stored in this hefty box here. This box is actually a chocolate box. It's like a Godiva, cho Godiva chocolate box. Um, so let me start with my That Smell Good Shop customs. This is Apple Twinkies and Beth's Baking, Pear Seduction, August Festival, Van Life, Casso Glade, and Busy Corner Baker. This is a pug shaped wax melt from Sweet Sage Scents in Shakedown Street. And this is just an absolutely adorable little shape here. I have some bathing gardens in Pink Mango. These are really cute little ice cream cones. Salted Caramel Popcorn. Two little donuts in Raspberry Donut. Three little apples here. This first one is Cake or sorry, Boardwalk Candy Apple, Vintage Circus, Vanilla Dumpling. And then I have my coffee sampler here. This is OCD, Coffee Market, Take a Break, Blackout, Java Heaven, But First Coffee, and A Hug from Dad. I have three from Brita's. This is Blackberry, Maraschino Cherry, and Champagne Toast. White Cake, Sugar Cookie Royale, and Vanilla Bean Marshmallow and beware the purple peanut butter. There was one down here at the bottom, I just saw it. This is Rainbow Melts Cowboy Coffee. And then on to my final bin that is stored in our living room. This is my Rose Girls bin, and these are all of Jenny's custom blends. So these are not like mini melt or single oil scents by themselves. So um, the first layer that I have here, these are all of the smaller muffins or smaller shapes. So um, I do have a few repeats and I'll go through those in a second. How I have this layered is underneath I have, um, besides my chopping board, which I keep in my Rose Girls container here, I have this tray, which is yet another Dollar Tree find. And this is a really nice way to organize these cube organizers. Um, even better, gives you a little bit more space because 
with these bags, I didn't want things to be like super crushed by laying that tote directly or that container directly on top of the bags. So I put this down here and then it gives it some, uh, some cushion so nothing gets crushed. Highly recommend these. Um, literally, I love these so much. I think that they're called like cupboard stackers or something like that. They're literally a dollar for like two. They're awesome and amazing. Highly recommend picking these up if you guys also store your racks like I do in these cube organizers. So first things first, I will share my Cookie Land sampler scents. All of these are from the Cookie Land sampler. So I've got like Pink Sugar Coconut Cookie Land. I've got Cupcakes at Tiffany's. This is a duplicate of that one scent. Um, another duplicate. I have some the Sweet Spot scents, two of those. I did get two of those samplers, so I do have a lot of doubles. This is Cotton Candy Cookie Land. I have Tulips and Rain. This one is Almond Biscotti Cookie Land. I have two of those. And then I have Banana Birthday Cake Cookie Land. Salty Caramel Latte Cookie Land. Another Banana Birthday Cake Cookie Land. And then down in here, I have some Mario Melters. I have um, some just random blends. So let me pull these out and then we'll go through those together. I have Rose Girls, one of the good ones. Kissing in the Rain, Midnight Rain, Banana Boom Boom, Star Fruit and Sweet Tooth, Lemon Cotton Candy Ice Cream Cake, Blackberry Rainbow Sherbet Lemonade, Crackling Birch Fluff Puff, Circus Concessions, It Was a Good Day, Taste the Rainbow, Moo Moo Track, Tenacious Toadette, Banana Split Funnel Cake, Caramel Cherry Cola Float or Coke Float, Three Little Birds, Salted Caramel Latte Cookie Land, French Vanilla Latte, and Dutch Apple Cookie Land. All right, and now on to my Rose Girls Chunk Muffins. I do have a few Rose Girl shapes as well from her Big Kahuna boxes. And I will start with the things that I do not have duplicates of. So starting off with watermelon apple stiletto, I have a strawberry serendipity coconut jello, best friends forever club, Rocky Mountain adventure, puppy love, candy apple milkshake, banana French toast bear claws, campfire marshmallow salt water taffy and cup of cake, blueberry vanilla sugar bread, black cherry Kool-Aid pop rock, pistachio ice cream cones at Tiffany's, tangerine and did somebody say frosting. On to my duplicates, I have two love you a lattes, three strawberry cookie lands here, three Sandra D's, two escape to Neverland, three shark bites, two summer snow cone margaritas. Hey guys, I moved the camera into my office. This is the bright, beautiful room that I keep all of my candles and storage in. I will say that bottom bin there is um, full of candles that are not, not Bath & Body Works candles. So all of the rest of these are. These are all my winter ones, fall candles, um, spring candles, and summer candles up there. So, um, this bin here is my winter bin. That bin is my all Halloween specific Halloween themed wax. And that is all my just general fall wax over there. All right, I will hop in and show you guys what I have. I do have a few candles in here, but these are all just my Christmas themed or I guess winter themed wax melt. This one here is Rose Girls O Christmas Tree, Ice Palace, Bruce Willis, two bags stuffed into this giant bag of Christmas Eve and Cookie Land. So I have chunk muffins and mini melters, Christmas pass, two mini um, chunks of Christmas Eve cookies in Cookie Land, eggnog graham crackers with cream cheese frosting, little muffin of chocolate covered cherries toasted marshmallows. One is Christmas Eve and Cookie Land again, making bread in Cookie Land. And I just thought that this was more of a, in my mind, winter appropriate scent. Um, so this entire box is all of my winter Zape products. I have two scoopables actually, we'll start with scoops. So the first one I have here is in Tinseltown and this is one of my all time favorite scents. I absolutely love it and I'm so happy I got a bigger um, scoopable of that. And this one is in Noel. I also have a ton of these Zape things were like samples that I have just recently gotten in the mystery samplers. 
So um, I have Ugly Sweater, Silent Night, Holly Days, Dashing Through the Snow, Yuletide Carols, Under the Mistletoe, Peppermint Candy, Christmas Eve, Secret Santa, Days of Christmas, Letters to Santa, Elf Cookies, Bad Santa, Trim the Tree, and Sleigh Ride. I have two from Gypsy Monroe. This is Blue December. This is my all-time favorite scent for Christmas, I think, ever. This one and Tinseltown, if I only had to melt two scents in the winter the whole season, then it would be those two. Um, and then this one is Appalachian, Appalachian Mountain Cabin. And um, this is Gypsy Monroe, which is closed down. But if you would like to find a dupe, then I am 97% sure that Teddy B's, um, is it Anthony's Cabin or Anthony's? I think it's Anthony's Cabin. Um, I believe that that is a dupe for this scent here. So yeah, I have Teddy B's right here. And this is in Winterfell. Santa's Sleigh Ride from L3. Wet Bandits from L3. And one more from L3 that I have for winter is Reindeer Nose. And this is a loaf that I chopped up and I love the scent. I have Wolf Wicks Stuffy, which is just like a Vicks Vapor Rug Rub dupe. Bath and Body Works in Fresh Balsam. This one is in Cotton Candy Blizzard, Tree Cutting, Night Before Christmas, Christmas Wreath. Moving along to some uh, Walmart wax, I have Cuddle Up, Festive Bubbly, Smoked Caramel Fireside, Cinnamon Buns, Iridescent, Just Like Christmas. And then finally, I forgot that this one is at the bottom of that clamshell pile. And this is Cindy Lou Who from Zape. This one here is Winter Citrus Wreath from K's. Pine Cones is another Pine Cone. Vanilla Birch, Cranberry Chutney, Balsam Cedar, White Birch, another White Birch, and Melted Moose Resting Grinch Face. Okay guys, so I pulled out all of my fall non-Halloween specific wax melts. I have four from Midnight Daydream Wax Company. I have Dutch Apple Waffles, Pumpkin Donut Shop, Mega Oatmeal Waffles, and Moon Bucks Cafe. A moose Lodge from the Melted Moose. Honeyed Coffee or Honeyed Toffee? I don't know. Honeyed Coffee or Honeyed Toffee from um, the Bathing Garden. Rainy Days from That Smell Good Shop. Toasty Caramel Apples from That Smell Good Shop. Baby It's Lukewarm Outside from Salt Mountain. Cake at the Orchard. Autumn Lane. Drinks in the Tub and toasted praline and pear. I do have this little random bag here of Bath and Body Works chopped up candles in pumpkin, apple, and leaf. It's a combination, I made a mix of both. I have a few Scentsy clamshells here. This is an apples and oat, cedar cider, breakfast in bed, sweet plum pastry, apple cherry strudel, honey pear cider, and two apple s'mores. A few of my Rose Girls things here are Lambo Leap, Pumpkin cream puffs and sugar cookie dough. Rodeo. Pumpkin pecan waffle cookie land. Apple fritter. Sweet pumpkin pie. This one is phenomenal. Honey Vermont apple. Cinnamon roll cupcakes with vanilla frosting. I have Dutch apple cookie land. And I have two more chunk samplers in pumpkin pecan waffles cookie land. So I'll have to stick those in that bag. And I have a scoopable from Rose Girls in Pumpkin Cheesecake, Cider Lane, and Pie Crust. From L3 Waxy Wonders, I have Smoked Vanilla Leaves, Pumpkin Firewood, Spiced Honey and Tonka, Brown Sugar Fig, Adipose, and Nilla Wafers, Cake Batter Waffle Cone, Mallow Fluff, and Nilla Wafer, Apple Butterscotch Cake, and Cinnamon Sugar. I have this little container here of Zape products. This first one here is in Pumpkin Souffle, Bobbing for Apples, Toasted, Pumpkin Queen, Lumberjack, Maple Cornbread, Farm Stand Festival, Cider House, and I have another in Cider House, a Moroccan Bazaar from Zay, Apple Cider Donut from Mainstays, I have Pumpkin Apple Muffins from Sensationals, this one is Better Homes and Gardens, Palo Santo and Violet, and Lemon Balm and Cedar, and some of these definitely could be any time of year, but I think that they kind of lend themselves to fall. This one is Goose Creek Sunflower Daydream over here. And then this one is Goose Creek's Caramel Applewood. Wolf Wicks Wolf Lodge. Better Homes and Gardens Apples and Oats. Oak. 
sorry, Fragrant Woodland Walk, Fall Fetti, Pie Season, Pumpkin S'mores Latte, Sugared Pumpkin Krona, Banana Pumpkin Bread, Sugared Caramel Drizzle, and Butterscotch Maple Cream, Caramel Bread Pudding, Pecan Pie Bars, Brownie Pecan Pie, Brown Butter Frosting, Smoky Mountain Air, Welcome Home, Chilly Autumn Evening, Swinging Hammock Breeze, Rustic Country Home in Banana Pumpkin Bread, Perfect Pumpkin, Midnight Pumpkin Patch, Farmhouse Pumpkin Patch, Harvest Apple Picking, Caramel Apple Spice, Aloha Pineapple Pumpkin, Lemon Pumpkin Shortbread, Farm Apple Pumpkin, Weekend Camping Trip, and Autumn Air. I saved my very favorite part for last. This is my Halloween tote and it was stored in this gray bin right below here. Starting off, I have Woof Wicks Salem. I have Trick or Treat, Banana Pumpkin Marshmallows from the Bathing Garden, L3 Waxy Wonder Creature of the Night. I have Scentsy's Ghostly Greetings, That Smell Good Shops Freddy Krueger, Ferb by Super Tarts. And this one just kind of reminds me of Halloween candy. This one is Something Wicked from the Bathing Garden and House of Stark American Werewolf from Super, Super Tart. I have Autumn Fig Harvest, White Chocolate Apples, Apple Fireside, Apple Cider Donut, Voodoo, and Twisted Towels. This is Candy Corn Cake, Candy Corn Struzel Kitchen Birthday Cake from Rose Girls, Zape's Monster Month, Sickle from L3 Waxy Wonders, Halloween Town from Zape, Southbound Hocus Pocus, Rose Girls Boo Berry, Carbs with Ghoul Friends, and I have a chunk bag and a mini melter bag there, The Strange Charm Hayride, Rainbow Melts Elm Street, The Pharmacist Daughter bl uh, Black Sugar, Mainstays Amaretto Blood Orange, Rose Girls Boo Berry Cake Pop Cheesecake, Moth man's festival and this is like a cute little skeleton from strange charm this is l3 waxy wonders pure mid head wolf wax candied green apples candy corn and toasted marshmallow l3 waxy wonders pennywise rita's in don't feed it after midnight 100 percent that witch from salt mountain melts just add ice cream hungry ghost another salt mountain in halloween town coven kitchen witch Black Cat Society, Wix in Caramel Apple, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Fried Donuts, and Pie Crust. Another Wolf Wix in Cider, Candy Corn, Pie Crust, and Wafers. Britta's here. This first one is in Autumn Cupcake Party. These awesome looking tombstones are in Cromwell Cookies. I love that name. And this one here is in Jason. I have Cherry Blow Pops from Salt Mountain Melt. The Exorcist from Britta's. Strange Charm in Scarecrow. Season of the Witch from Zape. And I have a loaf from L3 Waxy Wonders in Season of the Witch Cranberry Sweater Weather. And then I have some two ounce scent shots here. This one is from Midnight Daydream Wax Company. In fact, I think all of them except for one uh, of the rest of these are. This is Ritual, Beetlejuice, Goosebump, Dairy, Crystal Lake, Phantom. This one is from Destination Wax. This is in Blueberry Pumpkin Patch, Haddonfield, Edward Scissorhands, All Hallows Eve, Blueberry Pumpkin Milkshake, Casper and the Ring, The Blair Witch Project, and Apple S'mores, Barber's Sweater, and Spooky Season, The Silence of the Lambs, and Halloween Pie, Halloween pie is one of my favorites. Freddy versus Jason and lemon pumpkin shortbread. And finally, I have Scream and the Halloween store. So that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed taking a look through my collection. And I hope you all take care. Stay safe. Bye, guys.